Hello guys and welcome to the Tailors of. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this stylish corporate dress. However, the one I'll be making will be having a, a cap sleeve and it won't have the slit by the side. Okay, so I want you to join me as we get started. Also, if you have not subscribed to this ch channel, please kindly do so for more educating content. And please endeavor to turn on your notifications when a new video, so that you know when a new video pops up. Thank you so much for everyone that has subscribed. See you in the next slide. Alright guys, so these are the fabric we need to make the corporate uh, style so let's get started the first thing to do now is to cut a basic uh, bodice i'm going to cut a basic bodice okay my half length is 16.5 then i'm going to add the seam allowance one inch which would be would take in half take out half inch sorry on the uh, bottom part and then half inch at the shoulder area so it gives the total comes to 17.5 inches so now we go ahead and mark the underbust mark your underbust my underbust is 13.5 i add the half inch that we're going to take out at the shoulder area which makes it 14 i mark it then I, my bust point is 10.5 that's the place on top of which i'm going to mark the bust okay so now 10.5 add half inch always remember that add your half inch and then i come the length of the armhole i use 8.5 so now let's measure the shoulder the shoulder is my shoulder is 14 and that is 7.5 14 into 2 is 7 inches i'll add the same allowance which is half inch then it brings it to 7.5 inches okay then if you look at the style the width the width the width the wideness of the neck if if it sh should come to about eight inches so we're going to use eight inches i'm going to do 3.5 so that by the time we sew it we take it out half inch on both sides it comes exactly to the eight inches so now here is it then i'm going to go ahead and add you know i told you that the lapel in the style they joined it to it but in this case we're going to cut it with the upper part we're going to cut it with the upper part so we just go ahead and add this is where we're going to need the lapel measurements so add 8.5 inches up here and then from here draw a line draw a line this way I suppose and I assume that you can see this well draw a line then on the shoulder area take out at the end of the shoulder take out half inch to have the slanting effect of the shoulder and connect it okay so now we come to the bust okay then mark out your armpit okay then my bust is 36 36 I'll add 1.5 inches seam allowance and then my this my waist measurement is the same as my underboss so I just go ahead and add you do I divide 29 into into 4 it gives me 7 uh, point seven one quarter seven point one over four okay so now i go ahead and place it mark the measurement and then i add my seam allowance then the darts allowance which is one inch the overall measurements of this when you add the seam the dart allowance and my we uh, and my waist measurement is ten one quarter so i just come since my waist measurement is the same as my underboss i just come down here and place it okay i assume that you can see it i just come down here and place it okay so now 
right here at the where I marked my armhole then I connect the armpit okay I just connect this is a beginner friendly style okay a beginner should be able to cut the style so now I go ahead and cut out okay so now the next thing to do now is to go ahead and cut the back remember we added we added 8.5 inches okay so fold it in this 8.5 inches here fold it okay fold it in and place it on the back Okay, so now the next thing to do, I've added my zip allowance, which is 1.5 inches. That's all I need to do to cut the back. Just add your zip allowance and then you place it on it. Then notch the that areas. Notch the that areas. Okay, mine. Uh, uh, nipple to nipple is seven inches so by the time i hold my darts i'm going to add the the spacing between my darts to be four inches so as you can see i have notched this is the zip allowance i notched it this is the center front and these are the dart points okay so guys we take out 16.5 inches and we measure the length of my dress sorry i measure the length of the dress the length of my dress is 39 then you add the same m allowance and the half inch the half a uh, uh, half inch for the same allowance which brings it to it brings it to two inches then on that you measure your waist my waist is 29 1.5 inches for this uh, allowance same allowance and half one inch for the darts allowance then come up take out 16.5 inches okay take out 16.5 inches and measure your hip line the hip line is the fullest part of your hip where that's where i measure my my hip okay so to give you the rounding effect my hip is 38 okay 38 into 4 is 9.5 38 into 4 is 9.5. Add your allowance, then connect it as you can see. Then, because this is a pencil skirt, the way I do it is that I measure the exact measurement of my, of my, uh, what's it called? I measure the exact measurement of my hip. Then I connect, okay? And it comes out beautifully. I hope you can see it. Okay, the exact measurement of my hip, and I connect it. Just you can see it. Okay, now I go ahead and cut the back. To cut this particular style, you will need at least three yards of fabric, and because my fabric is just, my fabric is just two yards. I'm going to the to cut there's if you notice there's a there's an half flare on the waist area. The peplum is a peplum style. So I'm going to use a plain black material as the peplum of the dress. So I'm going to cut a 180 degree flare. However, it's going to have some pleating. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm splitting the back the zip allowance. Okay. As for that, then we go ahead and cut our <coughs> our flare. Okay, I call what I call that flare that you know everyone calls it a one eighty degree or half flare. I call it, I just call it triangle flare. You cut it like a triangle. Okay, you cut that flare like a a triangle. So the length of this flare now, okay, is nine inches. So I all I'm going to do right now is to add my waist i make the waist of the skirt one and half half of my waist measurement 
if you split my waist measurement into two in a layman's language you have 14.5 add that 14.5 to my actual waist when you add 14.5 plus 29 it gives you 43.5 so you div i divide my 43.5 into four 43.5 into four 43.5 into 4 gives me, you know, that's almost 11 inches. Then I come here. Okay, as you can see, that's about it. Okay, so I just go ahead and measure the length of my uh, flare, which is 9 inches. I add same allowance, 1 inch, half inch up. You take out half inch down, then you trace round. Okay. This is slanted flare. I want you to pay attention to this. Okay, so now. What to do is that you place the sides, place the center back on the center front, arrange it like this, okay, pin it together, okay. You notice that the style has a slanting effect, okay. So what I do, the shorter part of the, of the flare, I think is about 5 to 6 inches, let's make it 5.5 so we come here add 6.5 the extra one inch is the same allowance for the up and the down then you mark then you connect it you come and slant it you should the slanting should just slightly exit this is the center it should slightly exit okay as you are coming let it maybe like one inch across the center then you let it stop somewhere here i suppose you understand Okay, so that's about it. Then let it hurt. Okay, so that's that's about that. Okay, now back to our before we cut the sleeve, I want us to complete this cutting. So I'm going to use this uh, satin to cut the the lining of the of the front part of this dress. Okay. Why do I want to do that? Because the lapel extends from back to front. This to cut the lining of the front. If you notice, I joined the satin. Sorry, I'm trying to manage my material. There's nothing wrong with that anyway. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. You'll see how perfect it's going to, it's going to look, okay? So, we go ahead and cut the lining for this. That's why I decided to use the Dull face satin as the lining for the front. Okay, now the next thing we are going to do is to shape out our lapel. Okay, as so you can see it. Okay, so what you do is that place the satin, the, the back side of the skirt satin, place it on the back side of the uh, actual fabric itself to cut the lapel. Okay. This is the way the lapel is going to look for the record. So now you will notice that, let's do it this way. You will notice that, I want you to see it very well. Okay. So what you do now, here, mark 5.5 inches and let this line here, you know, continue. Okay, you can slant it a little and let it stop at 5.5 inches from the shoulder. So now you go ahead and cut it. Let it stop on the line. Okay, so now the next thing you are going to do here, right here on the other side of the shoulder. Notch it down a little by half inch, okay? Cut it down a little, okay? A little down by half inch here, okay? Down a little by half inch, can you see it? Okay, so 
Now, from that point, you are going to make a slant. Before you make a slant, okay, you first slant this place. This place. Take out 2 inches to 2.5 inches. Okay, let's do 2.5 inches. And slant it like this. Okay. Sorry. Then, from this point, connect it to this line that you have. Continue the slanting. You can take out like 1.5 inches up. Then we have it. Okay. Because if you're not satisfied with the with the V, you can still, you know, cut it. So as you can see now, it is only this point that you have the. Can you see? So on this point, chalk it, pull a line, okay, from here to here, so that you can spot where your lace is going to sit. Now, here is it. All right. Okay, so let's sew the neckline together. Okay, let's do the neckline together. This is it. That's about it. So now the next thing to do is to mark out the measurements of the sides, hold it together. Then I go ahead and add the flare on the waist, then the skirt part, the zip and the sleeves. All right, let's let's do that now. Okay, so now I have joined the sides. As you can see, I have joined the sides of the upper bodies. Okay, so here is it. So the next thing to do now is to add our flare, the peplum. So the next thing now is to add the skirt part, which, of which I have also joined. This is the skirt part. This is the skirt part. Make sure the sides, eh? This is the joining of the sides is equal. To the side of the 